Hey there, welcome back to Breakfast at Tracy's. Hey, you made it to the end of the week. It is Friday today, and we are continuing looking at this crucial, crucial topic, connection. You need connection, and so do I. And that's why we're talking about it today, because the Bible has so much to say about connection, because we are created to connect. Why? Because we were made in God's image. And God, Father, Son, and Spirit is the original connection. And we've been looking at the examples of how they treat one another. Here's another example about generosity. This is something Jesus said in John 17. He said, All who are mine belong to you, and you have given them to me, so they bring me glory. He's talking to the Father. You know, when the church began, they were a connected group, and they shared everything. It says they shared everything. You need a lawnmower? Got one. Need a side of beef? Have mine. Need a car? Take my keys. That was the generosity in the original church in Jerusalem. Generosity is a mark of connection. And you see it in families, in societies, in churches. And here we see it as a mark in the Trinity. I mean, what was, what was being generous about here? Well, it talks about all who. That's us. Not all that. There was this back and forth sequence of what is mine is yours and you're giving it back to me. And, and there was just this absolute generosity between father and son going on here because they were so connected. What was mine is yours. What's yours is mine. It is just such a beautiful picture of how uh, connection is expressed and how it's created. The father gave charge of the church to Jesus just to draw attention to him, to bring him glory. You see this this sharing of resources, this generosity in really connected organizations like the church. The more people feel connected, the more people give. They give their time, their resources. They're just willing to sacrifice. And here during the time of COVID, the more connected we are, the more sacrificial we'll be regarding things like bringing meals over to people, or I know some of you have sent flowers to other people, or written notes to other people, and all this generosity simply creates connection, and it is the result of connection. It just goes round and round and round. The more generous we are, the more connected we'll be, the more connected we'll be, the more generous we'll become. So here's a connection tip. It's pretty simple. Be generous. Be generous. Find ways to be generous. Yeah, maybe you don't have a lot of money. You can be generous in other ways. But be generous and watch the connection begin to take place. Start in your family. Start in your connect group. In people in the church, just be generous and watch how there's this instant connection that happens with generosity. Let's pray. Lord, I want to thank you once again for this incredible example that there isn't any kind of greed going on in the original connection. It's just this wonderful sharing and generosity between Father, Son, and Spirit. And I pray that we as a church and everyone listening to this would be absolutely generous in, with the people around us so that we will be connected to them and we will express an incredible connection with them through generosity. Lord, we need your help to do this. We're naturally selfish. We're naturally greedy. We need your help. And with your help, we can be generous and build connection. Thank you for this wonderful example. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.